welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel this is floor beam construction which length is 30 feet so now let me guide you for its steel reinforcement details which span for this length is 30 feet guys you can see clearly the width is 12 inches and depth is 18 inches with slab for this floor beam this is the size of beam you can see clearly we have three numbers of bars in upper portion and four numbers of steel rods in bottom portion which is tension zone they used 60 grade steel rods in the construction of this floor beam dia of each steel rod is here 16 mm let me focus the camera as you can see at the bottom guys we have four numbers at the top we have three numbers and we have two side bars which are only provided at the distance of l by 4 guys you can see the dia is 16 mm now this is the top portion we have three numbers of bars you can see clearly the first strip is placed at the distance of 2 inches this is from isr aci reference the other spacing is 6 inches dia of strip is 10 mm strip spacing is 10 mm 6 uh, 6 uh, uh, 10 mm with the spacing of 6 inches after l by 4 guys you can see they increased up to 7 to 8 inches and hooks are bent on 90 degree so this is one of the uh, small or big mistake you can say because it should be provided on 135 degree here we have two sections section aa and section bb section aa guys we have the spacing closely at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment section bb there we don't have extra steel rods or side bars and also the spacing is maximum compared to at the distance of l by 4 where the section is aa so this is floor beam steel reinforcement details seven numbers of steel rods and two are side bars so here this is nine numbers of bars dia is 16 mm and you can see main bars and distribution bars steel reinforcements are placed inside this floor beam which dia is 10 mm with the spacing of 12 by 12 inches 12 by 12 inches this is singly mesh on the top of this they will provide the other mesh then the spacing will be 6 by 6 inches or 150 by 150 mm but the steel of slab should be placed inside rcc column to make a good bond between beam and slab on the other side this is guys cantilever beam which span is 7 feet we have here the depth 12 inches with slab 18 inches next guys you can see the spacing everything is same as i discussed the other beam if you see guys they provided lapping link uh, at this place so the lapping is not allowed especially at the distance of will by 4 to so try to provide the uh, lapping at the junction between beam and column or after l by 4 distance this is simply supported beam already they provided cantilever beam on the top of that they will placed cantilever slab guys you can see after completion of shuttering they provided or they placed the plaster uh, the plastic guys you can see they will provide lapping at this place so this is one of the big mistakes so the lapping is not allowed at the distance of l by 4 because we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment they should provide extra steel rods or bent up bar to resist negative bending moment 
So this is a short video to guide you for some common mistakes and the span between two columns is 30 feet especially for floor beam which I have discussed different of you. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.